Hello Star Wars fans and Star Wars friends and welcome to another video. Well this is another amazing Egmont book um, produced by Egmont here in the UK for... Uh, they, these guys have... Um, they have a Star Wars license and these, this is one of the companies that really do make the most of their Star Wars license. Some companies make... Uh, Makes make things they don't make enough. They don't make the right thing. That make oh, but but Egmont they are really they're doing fantastic things with their Star Wars license and uh, their books are superb quality. Check out my other videos. You will find some more reviews for the Egmont books and magazines. But uh, always been happy with everything I've ever bought from them. I buy I buy their books for friends, for family, for uh, other Star Wars fans, but uh, some of the f my favourite things that they do are their uh, their building books. So um, the book is part activity book and then it's also part model kit. Now uh, the R2-D2 on the right there is awesome. He's 26 centimetres tall, which is almost almost a foot tall. Now I'm going to pop him on my uh, on my <laughs> on the world's slowest turntable. So we'll go in close and get some look at the detail on him. I think he's superb. F made from foam core board. Now I'm going to show you, I'll show you how he comes in the book, and um, then you know you get an idea of what goes into building him. Um, right, let's go close up on him. I say it's foam core, um, really good quality. The the details on it are absolutely superb. Um, look at the look, look at the detail. So there you go. Right. Um, so let him spin around, and I'll tell you a bit more about him. So the book itself comes with an activity section, which uh, it's a story and puzzle book, which I will show you some of it in a moment, and uh, some there's some really nice facts about some of the characters from the. Uh, original trilogy. Um, there's some really nice puzzles, really cool quizzes, and uh, then you get onto the then you get onto the instruction section for uh, the R2 there. And uh, then there's even more puzzles and oh yeah there's actually loads in here. Alright so there's R2. Now here's the book itself Let's go come back out again. There we go. Right, let's move R2 back a bit, a little bit, because he's huge and in the way right now. Sorry, R2. So there's the book. Inside the front section is the story and puzzle book. And it's kind of around about A4 sort of size. And in there, lots of different details on characters and some very nice puzzles. And on this side, you have the foam core board section. Now you have this sleeve that keeps everything together and protects it. And you can see where I've punched out all the pieces. And then you fold these pieces up, slot them together following the instructions, and you end up with this uh, 26 centimeter tall R2-D2. Uh, absolutely fantastic, looks so cool on display. Um, my niece and nephew, they both had one of these from me, and um, they they loved it. They had to have a little bit of help putting it together, but uh, my niece is seven and my nephew's nine, so you you know, understand that. Right, there you go. Let's get them back together. So yeah, um, price-wise, this was originally fourteen ninety nine, but uh, have a look around, you can often find books here in the UK on on offer so uh, my preferred places to find the Egmont uh, Rangers are ooh, uh, Asda, Tesco and sometimes Smith's Toys have them on offer as well so uh, get out there and uh, have a hunt around and uh, you'll find some really cool books for not a huge amount of money and uh, you could build a really cool R2-D2 kit like this uh, I absolutely love it looks great on display in my R2-D2 section and uh, would completely recommend it to other fans. So it's a something a little bit different which uh, if you uh, are a regular to my channel you know that uh, my uh, Star Wars collection it does consist of 
many, many items, but um, I do like the non-traditional Star Wars collectibles. And this is a non-traditional Star Wars collectible. So it's not an action figure, it's not a ship or a vehicle. So uh, it's a really cool item though, and does look fantastic on display. Anyway guys, Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter. There are links below. You can go straight down there and click on my Twitter feed. And, uh, and also I'll, I'll throw in the, um, the Egmont um, website there as well. So you can click on there and look at their full range. There are lots more fantastic Star Wars books coming out in 2017 for, for, for fans of all ages. There's some really cool um, stuff for younger fans and there's some great stuff coming out for older fans as well. Um, I hooked up with Egmont at the uh, London Book Fair in March in, um, in Olympia and uh, a great bunch of people and uh, yeah, there's some really cool stuff coming out. So if you like the building kits, there are some more building kits coming out. There's a huge Millennium Falcon coming out, which I saw the prototype and it looks awesome. And the prototype's unpainted, so it's un an unfinished prototype, which um, it just like completely gives me such a buzz to see something like that. And it's uh, yeah, it's not complete yet, so it's like yeah, fantastic. Um, so yeah, really exciting, and definitely, definitely, definitely going to add that to my collection. So guys, check out the links below. Click on those. Go see some more great stuff. Until next time, thanks for watching, and comment if you've already got this, because if you if you're insane like I am and you've like loved this to bits, you know, let me know what you think. And uh, until next time, guys, may the force be with you, and bye for now.